One of the most common fears and concerns at the secondary stage of learning is meeting high school standards and accreditation. This presentation is going to be a little more difficult to understand, but please follow me. Standards are very difficult to define. Even a certificated teacher can actually define what a standard is other than as a process. The dictionary definition of a standard is a required or agreed upon level of quality or attainment or an idea or thing used as a measure or norm or model in a comparative evaluation. Confusing? <laughs> the question is, what are we comparing? People? Really? The modern world has over 7 billion people and it is estimated that more than 100 billion people have walked this earth since its creation. When considering it, no two people have ever been the same or share the same fingerprint for that matter. The idea that we can standardize humans is preposterous. Yet most people assume that standards for education not only exist, but can actually be reached even when they can be clearly defined. If standards for people cannot exist or be properly defined, how then can they be measured or universally applied? The advancing of standards in education is one of the biggest lies ever told by the education industry. Forcing students to do the same thing at the same time at every level of a predetermined schedule is not to maintain a standard but to make sure that they all end up the same. There is a place where we can apply the definition of standards. And that place is when looking at a factory. All the products coming off the assembly line had better be the same. You do it for quality control, which is designed to prevent problems. When we apply the dictionary definition to standards in school, we realize that there are a number of similarities between school and industry. We want to make sure that all the products coming off the assembly line are the same for quality control, to prevent problems. Yet no two teachers will be able to consistently deliver or meet these supposed standards. There are your standards. Uh, they are more a measure of how everyone should be, not a how to think, but a what to think position. Not celebrating God's diversity and freedom, but the secular alternative of standardizing all to a bondage of conformity. If everyone is the same, much easier to control them. Now on to accreditation. Accreditation is the action or process of officially recognizing a person as having a particular status or being qualified to perform a certain activity or official certification that a school or course has met standards as set by an external regulator. This dictionary definition is even more complicated stuff that is based on a faulty notion that people can be standardized. What this translates into is that there are ways and means to make sure that people are properly trained to accomplish a particular task and to do it well. It's a good thing to have expectations of people and standards for positions. The problem is we get this all mixed up and start expecting the standardization of people rather than of skills or positions. Accreditation is best understood when looking at certification. A person who is licensed or certified to do a particular job is accredited by an agency as having met certain expectations and requirements to properly and safely conduct themselves in that position. Once again, this is not to standardize the person, but the level of skill needed to do the job and do it well. We would expect nurses to have some level of training, as we would the welder or the lawyer or any other position. To have this standard expectation of excellence is fine. However, 
When put into perspective, seeking accreditation is to seek approval from men. This is also okay if we keep this standard to positions, not people. When seeking accreditation in a high school program, we seek man's approval of what God has created. And that doesn't make any sense. Man's school program and God's directive do not have the same objective. High school accreditation is more a matter of standardizing the student than to assure he or she has met an agreed upon level. The proper collection of credits towards a high school diploma may indicate that the student spent a minimum 12 years to get it, but does it guarantee that anything was learned? Are they all literate? No. Are they all numerate? No. Are they all truly ready for post-secondary level positions? Maybe. That depends. Remember that in order for everyone to be able to get their diplomas, the level of expectation must continually be reduced. Where is 50% good enough in life outside of the standard expectation of the education ministry? God has created children to be different. Man insists on making them all the same. While it is good to expect excellence of the students, it is unreasonable to expect them all to reach the same level and to accomplish the same things. The goal of home education should be educational progress with high and reasonable expectations while allowing students the freedom to be who God has created them to be. We should be seeking God's approval rather than man's accreditation in our secondary level education. God makes no mistakes. Our faith in His abilities will eliminate the fear of not meeting standards and the need for human accreditation in education. Trust them.